from today's drama play to track, we've got the scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Rising Science Centurions, it's Thursday, March 25th. And for today's Spirit Week, it's Turn Up by Brightening Up the Day by Wearing Your Brightest Colors or Neons. That's not bright. Yes, it is. As you can tell, we got the memo. No, she didn't. Don't forget, tomorrow is Pharaoh Friday. <laughs> Dress up tomorrow as a king or queen of Egypt. Bring your most royal game up to play. And if you have no idea on how to dress up as an Egyptian, just watch the music video of Katy Perry featuring Jizzy J called Dark Horse for inspiration. Or if you don't want to go full out Egyptian, just try doing something, well, try doing the Egyptian eyeliner style. It's a simple thing, but easy. And yes, we are addressing this idea to both girls and boys. <laughs> Speaking about Spirit Week, are you a spirited person and do you just love talking to people? Well, I think ASB is a perfect fit for you. And you're just in luck because if you are interested in joining ASB by being a member or obtaining a council position, you just have to go at the to the ASB window. Today or tomorrow, pick up a packet. The packet should be completely finished by April 2nd. April 2nd will be the deadline to turn the packet into the ASB window. Do not wait until the last minute to pick up a packet because there is a petition inside the packet which you must need a lot of student signatures and letters of recommendation that are required. And those two items take time to get. I don't know if you guys know this, but this month is National Deaf History Month. We are celebrating the deaf and hard of, he he and hard the of hard hearing, hearing students that our district has served since 1948. So in the honor of this nation nationality we will we would like everyone students and staff to for about an hour to try to communicate in any way you can without using sound or try learning the manual alphabet and basic number signs in sign language try doing these activities after school when you have time not during school we have learning yeah we are going to recognize linda bove a deaf american actress you might remember her from children's television program, Sesame Street. She played the role Linda, the librarian in Sesame Street from 1971 to 2003. Bovey was born deaf in <laughs> New Jersey Gar Garfield to two deaf parents. In her role in Sesame Street, she has introduced sign language to millions of children and issues surrounding the deaf community. She increased public awareness of deaf culture and made it known that being deaf was not shameful. She is truly an amazing and inspirational woman. The Future Educators Associ Association meets in room 315 in Ms. Rodebaugh's room this Friday, March 17th, March 17th, March, March 27th after school. If you are interested in careers in education, please attend tomorrow and know FEA club does not stand for ugly. It's for future educators. Get it straight, people. Attention, attention, everybody. This is urgent. Drama is having their Hansel and Gretel premiere tomorrow after school at 7 p.m. Today, too. Yeah. <laughs> Some drama people will be having sales right after school today from 3 to 3.30 outside the main gate. So if you haven't bought your ticket, buy it after school. I believe tickets will be $6 and $5 if you have an ASB card. 
but you could get in for cheaper, you know. The first 40 students that are in line for the play at 7 p.m. will get in with just paying $1. That's cheap. So might as well just camp it all day by the theater after school. <laughs> all day. All day long. So straight after school, go sit by the stairs. If you can't see the play today for whatever reason, you're in luck because the play will also be tomorrow on Friday at 7 p.m. Make sure to check that out. It's a must-see event. Yesterday, track had a meet against Catella, and we have some footage to show you. So Century Boys Frosh Soft Track team ripped through Catella yesterday to remain undefeated. So before we say these names, we apologize in advance if they we pronounce them wrong or yeah. anything is wrong so shout outs go to byron rodriguez melvin Guar guardado giovanni guzman jim Qualtayot, <laughs> and sergio rodriguez for top performances also congratulations to just that too for winning both the varsity shot put and the and discuss this personal best throws <laughs> and finally, good luck this Saturday to all Century athletes complete, competing in the Track City Meet. Bring back the gold, guys. So I've been hearing this all day yesterday in every class. Girls have been talking about it nonstop. For all of you who have no clue, if you haven't heard yet, Zayn Malik or Malik, whatever you want to call him, from One Direction left the band. Yeah. Yes, people. What a shocker. Oh my god! One Direction will continue <laughs> their tour without Zayn and release a fifth album this year without him. A fifth album. Malik or Malik, whatever you want to call him, left in the middle of the band's On The Road Again World Tour on Thursday, citing stress. Okay, well yeah, okay. The news was announced following rumors that Zayn had been cheating on his fiance, Little Mix's Perry Edwards. He finds the fame more difficult to deal with than the other, says one source. Zayn finds the fact that everyone is looking at him and all the time a bit much, and he has for years. Even at the start of the band, he was finding it really hard to deal with the constant intrusion. Please, guys, let's have a moment of silence for Zayn leaving the band. Okay, I'm over it. Um, yeah. On to the next! Okay. <laughs> Oh, gee, I'm so excited. Why? Because it's that time of week again. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I think I remember. It's Throwback Thursday! What are we showing this time, Ingrid? <laughs> Last week we showed, um, a, if you recall, a call French Prince of Bel Air. A called. A show called. Okay. Um, this week we're going to show you a show that all of you may know. It's called That's a Raven. Take a look back to your childhood. Let's go. 
The high school set is the same one that Saved by the Bell used. Um, also, before it was That's So Raven, ra raven. <laughs> That's So Raven, I apologize. The original name for raven. the main character was Don Baxter, and the show was originally named The Future Is On Me. However, they changed the main character's name to Rose Baxter, and the show was called Absolutely Psychic. Eventually, the show was finally called That's So Raven. So it took a while. CHA. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's not funny, you guys. We cannot talk today, apparently. CHS Kika's book fair will be extended to last until this Saturday, March 28th. The store will not accept any more vouchers, but it's still active for online purchases. Mm -hmm. Remember the code that you need to Oops. type in before sorry. buying is 11586039. One one five eight six zero three nine. Remember that. Science Club members, there will be a meeting this week on Friday. You have three field trips in April, so turn in your permission slips because space is limited. The first trip is a science extravaganza at Cal State <laughs> Fullerton, Saturday, April fourth. The second trip is the Ship Junior Engineering Day at USC, April eleventh. The third is the Wang Goose celebration at UCI, April eighteen. Brenda, Armando, and all other UCI friends are planning a fabulous day, fabulous day for us. All of these college trips are free and will include a free lunch. It's Ms. Park's favorite price, so don't forget to come to the meeting Friday. Okay, so unfortunately, because of the district directive, International Week has been canceled, which means no more food selling. We don't know all the details, but we'll keep you posted, Centurions. Well, this is all we have for you, Centurions, today. Hopefully, you guys like this. You know, we can and talk. And we apologize because today we can't talk. Well, anyways, stay beautiful and don't be rude. Bye. Bye.